Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Rock Shop with Ralph, your source for the best celebrity interviews. Today, what can I say? We have another legend. I mean, I, 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 I've I been hitting him out of the park. Uh, we have, from the band The Guess Who, drummer Gary Peterson. How are you, Gary? I'm fabulous, Ralph. Great to be on The Rock Shop. Yes, and great to have you. It's not often that I have somebody... At, in your stature on my show. And I can't believe it. I mean, when you talk hits, the first thing that comes to mind is, of course, the guess who? And right away, American Woman. Everybody knows the song. Everybody sings the song in karaoke, sings the song in the shower, <laughs> or at least tries to sing it in the shower. But um, yes, so we'll talk, we'll talk about that, and we'll talk about your new lineup and your new album that you have out. So I got to start off with the Queen's accent that we were talking about before already. How you doing? I'm doing very well. <laughs> it's good to see someone from Queens. Oh, my goodness. New yes. York has a, a very, very special part in this band's history because um, we did two recording sessions there. And, of course, we're signed to RCA Records in New York. So uh, that's kind of where... It all started in the United States for this band in New York City, which is wonderful. Great. And now, you know, we can't talk about the Guess Who without talking about past members. Um, Burton Cummings, Randy Bachman, you know. Two awesome talents. Two awesome talents. Right. They're no longer in the band. There's a new formation of the band, and we'll talk about that. But uh, let's talk about your hits. How, how, when, when you got when you got when you got songs on the radio such as uh, American Woman and These Eyes, and they're selling multi multi platinum, how, how does how does the band feel? I mean, what 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 is what is your your mindset like when you have those songs on the radio? Are you kidding? Coming from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, and being <laughs> I don't want to say it like now. that, Gary. But you know, come on. Well, think think about it. What are the what are the odds and the chances of that happening? But I mean, our first experience in New York City is when we had Shaken All Over Out, which was our first record. First hit, and it was right. picked up. Yeah, it was picked up by Scepter Records out of New York City. City Florence Greenberg was the uh, owner of the record label. And oh, yeah, an Italian guy from Queens. I know him, Florence Greenberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we went, we went to New York to record at, 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 when that record came out. And we were recording at Scepter in New York. And there was a young writing team that d wrote a couple of songs for our for our album. And they sang on the album. And that was two people called Ashford and Simpson. Ah, Nick they Ashford came. and Valerie Simpson. They were they were they were 17 years old when they when they when we met them. So yeah, and, and then after that you know, recording These Eyes and the We Feel Soul album at a &R Studios with Phil Ramone in New York City. So, you see, it's quite a part of our history. Right. I, I, and Nick Asher and Valerie Simpson will tell you, they, they formed the duo back in, in the 80s. They were writing partners and they had that hit Solid as a Rock. Oh, yeah, they had a lot of hit records. Yeah, I mean, they had a lot of hits that they wrote for the artists, but their main hit was Solid yeah. as a Rock. So, people for, for for the youngsters that don't know <laughs> those, those names, but let, let's just what I mean. All in all, the Guess Who I mean had had multi platinum albums. They had major major hits. What is the single most song <clears throat> that you're synonymous with? What what do you think? Which one would that be? Well, I mean, the only number one hit we had was American Woman. However, it's a very special song because it was a double-sided number one hit. The flip side was No Sugar Tonight. Both charted at yeah. the same time. That was a hit too. Yeah, it was number one. Yeah. Both were number one at the same time. And there's only a few entities ha that have done that. We're in very, very rarefied air there. That would be Elvis, The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and the Guess Who. There you go. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Well, 
I mean, we're as I said, that's rarefied air. I would never compare it to those. You can, those you can talk. You can talk about that. We we like to talk about money on the show. <laughs> that's that's the top of the top. Those those groups and and Elvis as well. But yeah, that that was the the big record. How, however, there are many records that people really like when we play, and and uh, these eyes obviously, yeah, is 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 a big recorded in New York City. Uh, is is a big song for us. So, yeah. And that's that that song was recently uh, the the movie Super Bad. If you saw the movie Super Bad, the the, the kid yeah. sing, they he's the kid Mike Michael Sarah the actor is singing the song that his mother used to sing to him when he was a baby. You know, it, it's a it's a good song to to mime to. You know, or yeah. sing. When when you when Burton when Burton brings a song, so I'm just saying, such as I, I mean, let's just say for instance, these eyes. A song like that. Does the band know that that that's a hit right off the bat? They know that this song is like. Well, I I think we we listen to enough music to to kind of know what's what's good and what's not so good, and and in in the old days, nowadays uh, the writers in the band come with the finished demo uh, to the rehearsal. In those days, it was like piano and voice on a blast on a on a blaster right you know with a condenser mic they would record it at home just piano and vocal bring it to the rehearsal and then the band would it would go through the meat grinder then and come they, out and they'd say what well, what can you add yeah. to this yeah exactly and today it's it's different because the technology is there for for people to do i um you know finished records and present them to the band so and, and that's kind of, it's a double-edged sword. I, I, I like the old way, but I also like the new new way because it's it's always great to use technology to get better. Right. Speaking of Burton Cummings, and we, well, and we got to mention Randy Bachman, who left, Bachman, yeah. they had a supposedly volatile relationship and he left and formed BTO, Bachman Turner Overdrive. When you, when you get a song like, taking care of business and you hear on the radio did you was there was that ever a guess who song i mean no but i what i always have thought let's 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 turn the clock back and let's look at the history of the guess who and all the hits what if randy stays in the band and we have all of bto songs with randy singing right as hit so I always look at it that way. You well, know, that's, that's what I'm that's saying. Cool. That's what I'm saying, uh, Gary. What if, what if yeah. I know what woulda, coulda, shoulda? You know, I, I'm just yeah. saying. He, he leaves. He leaves. He leaves. And, he leaves. The guess who? And he forms them, and and he has massive success, massive hits. Yeah. Was that what he wanted in the band? Did he want to? Did he want to be front man, front and center singing? I don't, I don't really think so. I think it was a happen chance kind of kind of thing I, i'm not sure we we parted not on the best terms at that right. time uh but that'll come out the, the true story of the breakup which happened at the city squire hotel in new york city again yeah the last date that we played with randy was at the fillmore east in new york city so Legendary. all of that story the true story of the breakup is in my new book, which I'm working on now. And you work, and when when will that book be out? And do we have a name? Well, I'm I think I'm going to call it a band of brothers. A band of brothers. Yeah. Well, how about guess who? It's Gary Peterson. <laughs> how about friends of mine? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I, I had to do this book. I didn't want to do it. People have been after me for years. But then I thought, I need I need to do it really for myself so I can take all of these doors that have been locked in my head for so long and open them and, and, and just put down in words my experience of 62 years in this band. Wow, 62 years. I, I was I was swimming somewhere 62 years ago. <laughs> and we know where that is. 
But I, I mean, well, it, it, if you think about it, if you think about it, Ralph. The people that that are fifty years old that come to see the band today, they weren't born when these eyes and American women were out. So that puts everything in into perspective. Exactly, and that, and that shows your longevity. <clears throat> and how much people adore you and love you in the music business that you're still doing it today. Yes, and, and it, it's a tribute to, and, and again, our mission as the guess who right now, I'm the only original member left, but my my mission here with, with the band that I have is to honor uh, and, and celebrate all the great songwriters and 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 musicians and singers that have passed through this band and left their mark on the band. Yes. As, as, as important is to be able to do new material to add to that legendary uh, catalog. Yes, and we're going to talk about the new album in a couple of minutes. So, I mean, I see your platinum and gold albums on the wall. <clears throat> Which, um, What's your favorite Guess Who album? Wow. I, I you know. And don't say they're your babies, you love them all. Come on, give us one. No, seriously. Whatever album I'm listening to at the time. Um, just for different reasons. I see, I listen to a lot of our stuff when I'm flying on an aircraft. And I listen to it in, in chronological order. And it gives me a progression of musicianship, the writing of the guys in the band, how it's progressing through these years and how, how my, my playing as a drummer is changing. You know, you have all of that in front of you to be able to analyze. Right. However, rocking, rocking, the rocking album was basically a live album off the floor of, of the studio. So live on that, tape. Yeah, live live to tape, right? You know, very little fixing done on on the on the record. So that was a fun record, but but there there are so many that I enjoyed, and and as I look back over the years, I go, man, are you lucky to have been able to be a part of all this music? How did that happen? Right. What what's what's your favorite memory? Let's just say what what well, and I'm I'm not discounting the, the past members but Burton and and um Randy what's your favorite memories of those guys and oh. and there's a two-part question would you ever play live with them again um I I guess I would yeah I mean why not I mean it would be if we ever went into the rock and roll hall of fame oh here I we go again I would certainly do that. Um, I, I'm not sure that 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 it will ever happen again where we play live again, you know. Um, but yeah, and my memories of them is is how we all grew up. I mean, I played little league baseball with Randy. That's how I met him, and he was one of my best. We used to double date and go to midnight drive-ins together and. You know, those are all memories and, and traveling on the road in uh, in Western Canada, 40 below zero in a car and, you know, on to, uh, going going to play gigs. Um, all of that is indelibly etched in my mind. And, and, you know, there's been there's been acrimony between the members of the band, but I would rather think about the great times we had than think about the bad stuff. Right. I had I had Lou Graham from Farner on two weeks ago. That's another band that deservedly belongs in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, the guess who? I mean, come on. They had they should be in there as well. And and this is an argument that I have when I when I get legendary musicians that have been around for so long. I mean, they should just change the name from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, make it the music hall of fame. Because you're putting you're putting rappers and and you know non-rock artists in there and you got bands like I'll, I'll give you three America, um, American Grand Funk Railroad should be in there the guess we who play, we play with them quite a bit and Three Dog Night 
Yeah, Mark Farner has been on my show twice. And yeah. and Farner, I mean, come on, these are bands that started. They, they started back back when it was an embryo in the embryonic stages. You know, maybe maybe a little bit later. Well, but I, but, but but still, I look at it like this. I know coming from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, what we accomplished. I know exactly what we did, and I know what we didn't do. I mean, we're not the Beatles or the Rolling Stones or anything like that, but I know I, I, I'm very proud of our accomplishments as a, as a band and creating music. So that's all that's really important to me. you know. And the fact that we are still able to go out and, and do what we love to do, which is entertain people. You know, there's nothing, the, the biggest drug in the world is getting on stage and seeing what, what your performance means to those people sitting out in the seats. It's right. like nothing I can ever describe to you. I mean, I, I'm a drummer as well. And and we, we were talking about age and, and stuff like that. Age is just a number to me, but as a drummer and you're a little bit older than me, mm -hmm. How, how do you feel? I mean, how do you feel playing? I mean, you, you told you told me you're 78 years old. Yeah, I have. I mean, a, a artificial hip, two artificial knees. I got one too. There you Broke go. Up. I need two shoulder replacements. I've had my ulnar nerves moved in my elbows. I've, I've, uh, you know, I've got all kinds of things, and yet I can, and I've got uh, uh, spinal stenosis from sitting on the stool. And I still enjoy playing. I still can play, and I will con continue to do this until God says to me, "That's it, boy." And that that ain't coming anytime soon. I hope not. I we're we're starting to work on a new album right now. This album hasn't hasn't been finished yet, and uh, the, the one that's out now. And we're I I just got a, a, a file from uh, Derek Sharp. Uh, with eight eight songs on it, so we're ready. We're ready to go all over again. Okay, la last question about the former band. What what what's your relationship with those guys? How how what? how do you stand with them, and how do they feel about? And we're going to talk about this now. You're the I, original, the only original member left of the band, and yeah, you're still touring I, as the I guess who. Have, I don't really have a relationship with them. I I've talked to Randy every once in a while. Uh, not not so much to Burton. Um, I have no animosity with either of them. I love I love both of them, and I respect their talent, and I respect their their right to leave the band and go and do their own solo careers. That's that's a choice you make. We had two reunions, one in the '80s, one in uh, 1999 to 2003. Those were opportunities for the band to stay together. Right. And why are why why am I still here and no one else? <laughs> I mean, that's that's something, and and that's just the way it is. I know a lot of fans are disappointed uh, because we're all still playing, but I mean, every individual has a goal of what they want to do, and I respect that. Right. Well, guess who has new members? Uh, I'll give them a shout out. We got Gary Peterson on drums. We got Lennon Shaw. Uh, we have Derek Sharp, who you mentioned before. He's on vocals. Uh, Michael, how do you pronounce? Is it Michael? Michael Sterto. How do you say it? Sterto. Sterto. Like <laughs> toes. That, that, yeah, Sterto. Sterto. And, toes. and by the way. He's a former guitarist with Lou Graham. Yes, yes. I, I was just about to mention he played with Lou Graham. I mean, you yeah. got, you got, and, and you all now, wait, here's one of my boys. You got Michael Devin on bass who plays, played in Whitesnake. Yes, yeah. That's and wait, on, go ahead. Yeah, he was on this album. However, uh, the Dead Days is, uh, has stolen Michael from our band. Great band. And now, now Graham. Uh, uh, Greg Smith is going to be our new bass player. Greg Smith? Yeah. He, he's all over the place. Yes. And, and you know he's from New York? I do. <laughs> I do. I, I'm going to see him uh, next in two weeks. So uh, we're York? very happy. He's another great talent on bass and also a great 
a, a great elite singer on his own. You know, he yes, sings. Yes, yes. But that's what that's the direction that our band is going. And if you listen to the new album, you'll hear a lot of intricate vocal parts on that album. And we're gonna talk about that, but I gotta mention one one of my favorite bass players you had in the band who toured with you before, Rudy Sarzo. Oh yeah, Rudy's a great friend of mine. What Isn't a, what... he, how the hell? I, I couldn't believe when Rudy Sarzo was playing bass in the Guess Who. Well, yeah, but Rudy will tell you that the, the Guess Who's material was was a soundtrack of his life when he came from Cuba. Yeah. Well, Miami, you know, he was listening to the and playing some of the stuff that you know he ended up in in a in a metal world but yeah. but still rudy could play anything you know what i mean i i got i got his picture on my wall there that's rudy up there there he is yeah yeah but you know what I, it was funny because i i in my pre-show days about maybe five five years ago or whatever i saw him at a convention and he he was doing a q a and yeah. one, of the, one of the questions i asked him was hey rudy You've been around for so long. Uh, it, did, can you name a band that you were almost in that, that you didn't quite get? Because he was around for a while before he became yeah. quite right. He, he auditioned for Eddie Money, and he almost was Eddie Money's bass player. Yeah. So that, that would explain the guess who Eddie Money. I mean, he, he got yeah, anything. No, these are guys. We're, we're talking about top-rated musicians that can, right. that can move from one area to another, just with a, you know, it's just a matter of what you really want to do. And and his heart is where, where it is. So, you know, yes. well, Gary, the new album and, is called, go ahead. I'm listening. The, the new album is, uh, Plan de More, which means you had to go French, right? Yeah. Well, you had to go French. Canada. You know what I mean? I, was, I know I was, I was going to try to pronounce it. And I, I, I wanted to see if you're going to laugh at me. I was going to say no, no. Plan de Amour. Plan, plan, the more, plan, the more, more. Yeah. One thing about you, one thing about French is when every time you talk, uh, uh, it's like your tongue is hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, we could go German. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's all good. All all the countries are good. We all we need all our people. Oh work. yeah, yeah. We need all our people to make a world, and uh, yeah, the album. The theme of the album is, is you know, there was a, a little group from Liverpool that said it very well, all you need is love. And we listened to that for a while, but we forgot it. And now we're reminding people that we need more of love in the world. We need more of, of, of loving each other and talking to each other, listening to each other, you know, and, and that's kind of the direction that this album went. Yeah, this De Derek is a phenomenal singer in his own right. Derek is a phenomenal talent. He he wrote all the songs. He produced the album. Um, he plays piano. He plays the great lead guitar player, great vocalist. He writes some of the greatest vocal background harmonies that I have ever heard in my life. Wow, that, that's and you've been around. Yes, yes, and and so. I, as I said, I've said this before in interviews. I, I've been I've worked with great people like Randy and Burton, great talents, and I never thought I'd I'd be working with another one like that in my lifetime. So I'm I'm a very fortunate uh, musician to be able to be uh, part of that. Yes, and I have to mention it's on Deco Records, mm -hmm. who uh, we had. Uh, Charlie, Jersey Charlie. boy, Jersey yes. boy. He was on the show. Yeah, we he's got not... we got Italians, we got Jersey boys. Actually, yeah. we're 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 coming up to playing in Atlantic City, uh, uh very shortly in in about the three weeks. Were you playing in Borgata? No, we got Golden Nugget. Oh, Golden Nugget. Yeah, it would be great if you came and met the band. It would be I, so. Cool. You know what? I I get invitations all the time. I I would love to. Um, in the process, what, what what's that date? Uh, I'm not sure. I know it's 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 uh, around towards the end of September. That that's right about right about when I'll be moving. So yeah. we'll we'll try to make it work. It's always the, it's always the well, demographics. I've got news for you. Next year, come March and April, you told we have me. Not, 
you have nine dates in Florida, which there will you be, go. each one will be less than a hundred miles from your house. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I, I'll, I'm definitely going to make it to one. Cause I, I'll be honest with you. I have yet to see the guests who well, I have. This is a, if you look at the, the people that have seen the band in the last year or so, uh, how they talk about the, the concert experience uh, if you go on our social media and take a look, it, it's a great experience. It's better to see the band live, and then then you'll get what we're doing. Yes. Well, as I said, the new album is called Plan d'Amour. Yeah, that's right. Correct. Yeah, and it's out on Deco Records. How's the yeah. first single doing? Um, everything is great. We're actually doing, which is very courageous, I think, on behalf of the band. We're doing half the album on stage with the hits. And every every single cut, there's eight cuts on the album. Uh, every cut is going to have a video. And I think there are like at least four out now on our social page, on our, our website and the YouTube page, Guess Who YouTube page. So people can actually, before they come and see the band, they can look at this these videos and see the music that they're going to be hearing on stage. Right now, the, the next, the next day, the next day you guys have is that the Atlantic City gig? Uh, no, we're we're going. Uh, I think we're going up to uh, Ohio first, and then uh, we've got a few other dates. Uh, yeah, Atlantic City is is in amongst those dates. We're going from Ohio to Atlantic City, so that's. Let me see. That's around the. Uh, 23rd of September, we're in Atlantic City. Uh, oh, it's coming, it's coming up soon. Two yeah, weeks. Very good. Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks. Well, listen, it's been and a if pleasure. You, if you needed to go, uh, Chip can certainly hook you up. Yeah, Chip. Come on, from one Italian to the next. Send me something. Nah, I'm only kidding. I never <laughs> expect anything, but I appreciate no, but, it. But but it, it, it is true. It's it. I We're talking about all this stuff. You need to come and see it. I, I definitely. I then cross off my bucket list. Yeah, that'd be great. We the band would love to meet you. Yes, and I'd love to meet the rest of the guys too. Yeah, especially Michael. Yeah, Michael. He's the New York guy. I'll, I'll oh, actually, he's. You, you said he's. He, he's back in the Dead Daisies anyway. He's not. He's not touring with you. Oh, and Michael Devin is with the Dead Daisies. Yeah, now. Yeah. Now, who who do you have? Who do you have? Oh, you have a uh, Greg, Greg, Greg Smith. Smith. Oh yeah, another New York boy. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I want to thank I want to thank Gary Peterson. I mean, we could talk for hours, Gary. But, um, yeah. We'll, we'll, do it again. We we'll, do we'll, it. we'll do it again. You guys are coming out with another album, or if I come to the gig, I'll, I'll speak to you then. But um, you want to give you want to give your uh, social media accounts, your, your website. This way, the fans know where they can pick up your CD. Yeah, the guess who dot com and the guess who YouTube page. Uh, we have the Facebook and everything. So if, if you go on the on the website, you yourself as well, there are four videos up there from this album. Yes, I, I saw them. You saw them? Okay. Well, so that's yeah. for that, that want to take a look. And the, the best thing is the price. Free. Free. Well, as, well, grat, uh, well in, in Italian, it's, it's gratis or Spanish is gratis. Yeah. In French? Um, it's got to be. It's the same. Uh, free. Uh, Everybody knows free. <laughs> so, yeah. Check it out and come see the band. We love to see the people. Yes. All right, Gary. I want to thank you for coming on the show. You're a part of the Rock Shop family now. I and love I'll, it. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll, I'll be seeing you and I'll be talking to you again. But I appreciate it, Gary. Thank you so much. And everybody get out and get the new album from the Guess Who called Plan de Amor. On Deco Records. We're giving yeah. Charlie Charlie's label a shout out again. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you and all the people in your your area there. Queens. My my, my area goes all over. I interviewed I, I interviewed guy uh, people in France, in um, Italy. I mean we go my and all over all over the states. So you're so, not having any fun, are you? I Come on, you can't deny my enthusiasm, Charlie. I'm going to call you Charlie. Not, you're not having any fun. I know you're not. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm, I always say, you can never deny my enthusiasm. I'm a fan first and foremost. 
I don't blow, yeah. and, and this is the Queens talking, I don't blow smoke up anybody's ass. Yeah. If, some, yeah. if something stinks, I'm going to tell you it stinks. If something's yeah. great, you can never deny my enthusiasm. Yeah. But Charlie, uh, Charlie, I keep going, I went back to going to Charlie. I got Charlie yeah. on my head from Deco Records. Right. Gary, thank you so much. Yeah. And it's an honor to speak to you. And I will be seeing you and I'll be listening to you as soon as I get, as soon as I get, get done with this interview. I'm going back to, to, to listening. That's you. Thank you very much. Bye now.